just recently, I started learning to play pickleball and I am having so much fun with it. Great people and amazing, amazing instructors. And one of the concepts that the instructor is trying to get through to us is don't feed the beast. She says that a lot and it's pretty funny when she says that, meaning that we don't wanna give our opponents the opportunity to basically score easily through the two opposing players. Okay, don't feed the beast absolutely relates to the work that I do with my clients. And every time we're looking for outside validation or approval from another person, a family member, a colleague, a friend, that we need that outside validation, we are literally feeding the beast. So the next time you have the urge, the need, the desire for validation, for approval from a friend, a colleague, from someone outside of yourself, take a moment and stop. Breathe and give yourself the words that you want to hear. If you've done a project or you've done, you know, you've created something, step back and say, hey, what I did was good. Matter of fact, it was better than good. And every time we interrupt that behavior, we stop feeding the beast and we align with who we truly are. And we can look back and we can give ourselves the pat on the back, the approval, and then that's where confidence resides. That's where we really start to feel more confident inside. When we connect with our higher self and we're giving ourselves the words, the credit, the validation we need, because really happiness and healing is an inside job. So the next time your internal beast has the desire and need to be fed, take a breath and give yourself the words and the validation that you want from another. Be well.